I might I have a word with you? Can I wait till a bit later, Mrs. McCleary? I don't like to leave my sister alone for too long. She's no better, then. Oh, this reminds me of my cousin, Claire. Oh, she was sick, just like your sister, before she slipped away. Yes, it was a cold, wet fall, just like this. And I suppose you want to ask me about the rent. Well, you did say that you were waiting for the money to come from the book illustration you did. That was last week. I know. But it hasn't come yet. Well, I'm a, a very patient woman. And as Christian as they come, I have my troubles too, you know. I'm a poor widow whose only income is from this building, you know. That's all I'm saying. I'm sure the money will be here by next week. Oh, that's what you said last week. You keep a watch on that sister of yours. Well, there's one day you should be glad you're not outside. They're falling faster now. Oh, Susan, I used to watch that dying vine. Wind. It's so strong. These last few leaves, they struggle so hard to hold on to the vine. <coughs> but in the end, it doesn't matter. Leslie falls just like the first. Susan, what are you saying? I just have to wait for the last leaf to fall. It's a, it's a stormy night. I, uh, now is a good time for your lesson? I don't think so, thank you. Susanne's voice? Yes, and I can't reach the doctor. Then you are doing all you can do. Uh, I have here my poor Paris sketches. Come in. Merci. This is the opera. When you get to Paris, you'll see. Oh, it's so far away from here. It's so peaceful. Peaceful? <laughs> Not the opera. Oh, she keeps watching the leaves on that vine outside the window. Leaves. These are leaves. Look, it is the bois. I was sketching Mary. She's sure that... Beautiful. Pink bonnet. When the wind blows that last leaf off the vine during the night. She told me I had a masterpiece in me. You haven't heard a word that I've said. She's dying. What? She wants to die. She's obsessed with the leaves on that vine outside of her window. She thinks that when the last leaf falls off the vine, she's going to die too. That's foolishness. That girl has so much to live for. Paris! Oh, talk to me about Paris. I don't care about Paris. Don't you see? Don't you see? Paris is a dream. This is reality. Tonight is reality. I'm sorry, Mr. Verlaine. I know you're trying to help. You're a kind man. Kind? <laughs> I am not kind. You're giving up just like your sister is giving up. I may be a failed artist, but I know talent. It is a gift. You must not waste it. <sighs> Go call your doctor. <laughs> Is 
met you? No. It is me, Monsieur Verlaine. You look somewhat improved, my little friend. You lie poorly, Mr. Verlaine. You're young. The whole world lies ahead of you. You must fight. I don't want to fight anymore. I'm tired of being a burden. Don't say that. Why do you let such foolishness come into your head? Look at me. Look at me. I too thought I was a burden on Marie. She thought my heart was a gift from God. She was wrong. But you, you're young. And soon, the two of you will take a trip to Paris. You will study dance. And your sister will paint. You must fight like that vine. Have you noticed how it grows from a crack from the bottom of the wall? Think of that determination. I'd always hoped to capture that vibrance in a painting. Such will to live. Like my Marie. But Marie died. And mother and father died. And after struggling through that wall, the vine will die. Susan, you must not be afraid to live. 